pretty tired this morning. <clears throat> so I got up at like 5.15. My goal today is to reach out to one of the guitar players online who gives Skype lessons. There's so many of them, but I have one in mind that I'm going to reach out to to try and develop a more structured and streamlined practice regiment to play guitar. And I'm going to start doing that every day. It's going to be a basic everyday thing on top of, you know, editing and producing other stuff. But I just need that to be a morning routine, like I take a shower, like I brush my teeth. I need this practice regiment to be routine. I need it to be structured, because otherwise I get distracted. So that's my goal for today. God, it's nice out. There was like a, a thunderstorm this morning, and it's almost 70 already. Maybe not, but it feels great. I could sit out here all morning, but I'm not going to, because I have shit to do. I read something interesting today, and I had to stop reading after I read it. It goes something like, if a hundred foot oak tree had the mind of a human, it would only grow to be 10 feet tall. If a hundred foot oak tree had the mind of a human, it would only grow to be 10 feet tall. Totally. We in ourselves are our biggest obstacle. The sooner we realize that we're all worthy of great things, the sooner you can put that positive image of yourself to good use. I don't know, those words just like keep bouncing in my head. If a hundred foot oak tree had the mind of a human, it would only grow to be 10 feet tall. The one advantage of working where I work is that I get to throw the headphones in and listen to books, listen to podcasts. So I've listened to a lot of Gary Vaynerchuk lately. Gary V. This dude. Inspiring. Inspiring as fuck. He's an entrepreneur in the realest way. I'm gonna butcher it. But he said something like, micro speed, macro patience. I feel like I've been going, 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 going for what feels like months, and it probably has been, but that's nothing. You know, that's a drop in the bucket. You know, there's definitely one thing I've learned from him, and it took a little bit of me stepping back and assessing the way I looked at things. You know, you gotta be able to do that. You gotta be able to look at your point of views and your perspectives. I talked a lot of trash about Facebook, about social media in general, and how 
we seem to be wasting our time on it. And don't get me wrong, I still feel like there's a, a large portion of people who don't live their lives. They watch it through a five-inch screen, thumbing through it, watching other people do things. And we can get into a whole discussion about that because when you think about it, you're either seeing all the great things that are going on in people's lives or all the negative things that are that is going on in the world. Both of those can be a detriment to you, you know. You can get caught up in the sensationalization of how great people's lives are and then you look at your life at that moment because you're sitting there looking at a fucking screen and think, I'm a loser. Or their lives are better than me or I don't have this or I don't have that or they have that cool thing or they're going to that cool place. You know, you don't know the whole story. And the flip side of it is, and man, I see this every time I, I pop on. For the few minutes that I do, people get so caught up in all the neg negativity on Facebook, and that's the problem with it, is you go on and you buy into this negativity, and I'm not saying ignore the bad things that are going on in the world, but control what you can control, you know? If you feel like the world needs to be full of more, you know philanthropic people start with you you do it if you feel like people are just assholes or vanity you know you got to start with you start with you set the example don't get caught up in that negative feedback loop don't perpetuate your own negativity by going in and seeing a post commenting on the post getting in Facebook arguments God, oh, it's, it's insane how often this happens. I've come to realize that in regards to my music, content, pushing a brand, if you will, you know, I really don't feel like I have a brand, but we're all a brand. Social media, if leveraged correctly, can yield you amazing results. And I think that's definitely one thing in the last several weeks that I've stepped back got out of my comfort zone and started utilizing it every more and I've seen benefits I've seen results and it's cool and that gets back to what I was saying micro speed macro patience and when Gary V said that I got it it's like listen you're gonna feel like in the moment you know I get up at 5 I go to bed 12, 12 30. I think I finally fell asleep at one last night, got up at five again. Because this is important. This is what I want. I got to fit it in around the rest of my life. And I'm willing to do that. It's going to feel like I'm killing myself and not getting anywhere. But as long as I keep killing it, I will. I'll see macro results. You have to have patience. Patience. Every day, you have to be busier than you've ever been busy. And, and it's going to feel like nothing's happening. But you'll get those macro results. Definitely something I, I, I love that I have learned and absorbed from all the books I've been reading and, and, and podcasts I've been listening to lately. You really got to be open to these ideas. There's a lot of negativity surrounding social media, but... You know, if you step back like I did, you know, I stepped back. I'm like, listen, alright, it's a way to connect. It's a way to reach out to your community. And I've been doing that, and I get the point now. You know, that's the point. I don't think you're supposed to be going on Facebook and shit like this to get your news, to get your information, to get in discussions perpetual negativity is what comes of it and you need to realize you need to pick your battles and you also need to realize you can only affect what you can affect in your circle start there if you worry about all this other big shit you're gonna be fucking miserable and I see it I see good people 
good people capable of good things just stuck in this cycle, stuck in this pool of shit because they just bombard themselves with negativity like they're gluttons for punishment. It's not a good way. But, uh, yeah. So I got to go into work now and kill it in there, do what I can do so that I can go home and get some family time in. So that's what I'm about to do. I hope everybody has a good day. I hope everybody's getting some out of these things. It's kind of therapeutic. It's an, it's it's intimidating for sure. But uh you know I just want everybody to be to push, to keep pushing to realize that they're worth whatever they want to do. God, it sounds so cheesy, but at the same time, ah, it's fucking cool. You can do it if you want to. I'll see you guys later.